Hello, I'm Alexander and today I'll present Hebo, a submission that won the Europe's 2020 Black Box Optimization Challenge. To set the scene, our goal is to maximize a black box function by finding a probably mixed variable x. Such a setting is widespread with ubiquitous applications ranging from molecular design to neural search and auto ML. One way in solving this problem is to follow a Bayesian optimization scheme that executes the following three steps. In the first step, a surrogate model, usually a Gaussian process is fit. With that acquired, the second maximizes an acquisition to determine new search points. The third then evaluates new inputs by querying the black box and the above process repeats. During the surrogate fitting, one typically assumes a Gaussian likelihood in the GP model. Unfortunately, across the competition data, noises can be highly complex, leading us to realize the first problem of non-Gaussian likelihoods. Apart from the likelihood assumption, we realize a second problem related to the choice of acquisition functions. We know there are different types of acquisition functions, EI, PI, and LCB. They all have a shared goal to help determine which points to next evaluate in the black box function, differing in how they trade off maximizing expected return with uncertainty-driven exploration. However, it is not clear which one works best in general, an important problem when applying BO to a wide variety of tasks such as in this competition. Now, let us understand how we dealt with non-Gaussian likelihoods in Bayesian optimization. We use a learnt non-linear transformation on the input and a fixed non-linear transformation on the output to better deal with non-Gaussian likelihoods. We use a warped Gaussian process on the input, specifically, we use the CDF of the Kumaraswamy distribution, a bijective transformation that remains between zero and one, and importantly, only introduces two additional parameters, A and B per input variable, as shown in the equation in the top left. Additionally, we apply a power law transformation on the output variables, as shown in the equation at the bottom left. This transformation reshapes the target data to better resemble a Gaussian distribution, as shown in the plots in the bottom right. Having dealt with problem one, we can now detail how we tackled the second. What acquisition function do we use and how do we optimize it? Why pick one acquisition when you can hedge your bets and pick multiple? We use a multi-objective acquisition function instead as shown in the plots at the top right, each individual acquisition has a differing maxima point. But finding a Pareto set between these acquisitions produce a diverse and informative set of points to be evaluated next in our black box function. But how do we find this Pareto set? We use a multi-objective evolutionary method, NSGA2, to find a Pareto set. Importantly, this method supports mixed variable mutations and crossovers. Further customizing Hebo to the competition data. Apart from the above, we also realized very interesting properties in the data. Please focus on the left plot. When conducting offline data set analysis, we observed correlation between a regularization parameter C and model accuracy up to a certain region. Zooming into this region on the right-hand plot, we see no clear correlation. We conclude that the best method to search would appear to be random. Thus, we wanted to design a method which was able to perform coarse search up to a promising region and then fine-grained random search within this region. This led us to creating a novel robustness technique which allows our Bayesian optimization algorithm to resort to random search when the learned likelihood noise is high, 
This is achieved through adding on a noise dependent on the likelihood variance onto the posterior mean of the Gaussian process. As you can see in the plots, as likelihood noise level increases, we similarly get increasingly random search around the desired region. All additional components are shown with their corresponding rating as to how effective this improvement was. Overall, these components constitute HEBO, our submission that won this NeurIPS competition. Thank you very much for listening and good luck with the competition.